Si Al's Learner JC is a proof that life offers second chances. Nagkakamali pero na itatama at patuloy tayo to dream, set our goals, work hard for it, stick to it until we reach the success and the happiness that we hope for. Ako po muli si Sir A, ang inyong Al's Coach, dito lang sa Alternative Learning System sa DepEd TV. Mabuhay! Good day to all! I am your tutor, Max. Welcome to Itulan, a free online tutorial, an initiative of the Department of Education, Information and Communications Technology Service, Educational Technology Unit, ICTS EdTech. This program is aimed at helping and assisting learners from kindergarten, senior high school, us, alive and sped learners. Aside from answering the modules, the Itulai is offering programs which you will surely look forward to. Together with our parents and teachers, the Itulai will bridge the gap where difficulty and ease meet in learning new knowledge and skills. So, let us prepare our modules, pen and paper. Ready your mind to see and hear worthwhile and interesting lessons. Let us now study and learn together with our volunteer online tutors. Tara na! Okay, hello po. Good evening po sa lahat. Okay. Yung aking PowerPoint, sir. Okay, isa namang magandang hapon sa lahat. Wednesday po ulit tayo, learning strand. Number 3, all elementary, Miyerkules, alas 5 hanggang alas 6 ng umaga. Okay, sa ngayon po, wala po muna si Sir Sherwin. Okay, samahan niyo po ako. At itawid ang araw na ito. Simulan po natin. Okay. LS3 elementary, week 2, quarter 4, learning about fractions. Okay, but before we start, let's have some illustration. Okay. Ano po ba ang nakikita natin dyan sa board? Okay, share po natin muna ang ating link. Okay, nas comment, comment na tayo kung nandyan po tayo, learners. Okay, good afternoon po sa lahat. Share po natin yung link para sabay-sabay tayong matuto sa araw na ito. Okay, nasaan na kaya ang aking mga learners? For today, okay? I'll give you time to share the link para po matuto tayo sa araw na ito. Bago po ang lahat, okay, binag... Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Mr. Juan C. Obierna, STOD Chief, Dr. Alden G. Corpin, at our ALS Focal Person, Ma'am Rosal Sabido, and our EPS 2 in ALS. Okay, Mama Bill Panganiban and Sir John Carl Cabarles. Okay, meron na tayong mga learners dyan. Good afternoon, Jemari Infante. Good afternoon, Chi Mateo. Okay, shout out po natin kung saan pong school tayo para pumabati natin. Okay, share, share. Okay, sharing is caring po tayo para mas marami tayong matuto sa araw na ito. Isang exciting na lecture po para matutunan natin ang kamukha ng mga nasa board ngayon. Okay. Eh, 
Okay. Kung nakikita niyo po yung nasa ating board ngayon, meron po tayong pizza dyan na nahati-hati. Okay, ano po kaya ang lecture natin sa araw na ito? Ano pong ibig sabihin ng mga nakahating pizza po dyan sa picture? Ano po sa palagay niyo mga learners? Ano po magiging lecture natin today? Bakit may maganda tayong illustration na nauuna? Okay. Hello po from San Isidro Elementary School under Ma'am Coneve Kamba Chiyuko. Okay, good afternoon. Hello, Mary. Share, share po tayo. Okay, comment po kung ano po kaya ang magiging laman ng talakayan natin sa araw na ito. Okay, since wala pa. Okay, wow, very good. Queens Row Central Alps po. Hello po sa mga taga Queens Row. Okay, fractions. Ang galing naman nating mga learners. Okay, nang dahil dyan, may sagot na kayo. Okay, dito po yung objectives ng ating lecture for today. Express parts of a whole into fractions and vice versa. To the lowest term. Next. Compare the quantity of fractions. Identify the distinguished proper and improper fraction and mixed number. And convert mixed number to improper fractions and vice versa. Okay, hindi po, pag sinabing fraction, hindi po siya mahirap ha. Sabi niyo pong tandaan, madali lang po yan. Basta naintindihan natin yung process. Okay, let's study and analyze the picture. Okay. Hindi naman siya pizza ngayon. Melon po siya. Nahati-hati po. Okay, merong isa yung may kulay. Sunod, dalawa, tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito, hanggang nabuo po yung shaded portion. Okay, yan po ang katumbas niyan ay, ay ito po yon Yung isa, kung napansin nyo, eight slice po siya. Isa yung shaded. It corresponds with one over eight. Second, two over eight. Third, 3 over 8, 4 over 8, 5 over 8, 6 over 8, then 7 over 8. Hanggang napuno na siya yung shaded at saka yung slice, nagiging 8 out of 8 na po lahat. So, let's try this. Okay, dividing equally. Okay, situation number 1. Okay, ano pong napansin nyo sa situation number 1? Aling Rosa brought home home a pie for her four children. How will Aling Rosa divide the pie equally among her kids? Okay, alimbawa, may dala kayong pie pag uwi. Paano nyo hatiin sa apat yun? Equally divided dapat para walang nalamangan or walang magsabing maliit yung party niya. Okay, ang gagawin po natin dyan ay okay, yan yung Example ng pie, a picture of a pie. Ang gagawin po natin dyan ay draw lines to divide the pie equally among the four children. So mag-draw tayo ng line just like this one. O diba? It divided equally siya. Okay, draw lines to divide the pie equally. Okay. Para po maganda yung hati. Okay, next. Situation number two po tayo, learners. Okay. Mang Cesar bought a chocolate bar for his family. If Mang Cesar will share the chocolate bar with his wife and son, how will he divide the chocolate bar equally? Okay, paano niya hatiin sa tatlo yung chocolate bar? Ano sa palagay niyo? Okay. Okay, hello po. May learners po pala tayo from Ho si Hosni A. Inog Grade 2 watching from Zero Central School, Cotabato City. Thank you for watching. Share po. Okay, paano po siya hatiin? Ito na po. Okay, just an
say this, how much of the whole? Idi ate the shaded portion of the cake. Yan po yung cake. Yung shaded portion, yun po yung nakain ni Eddie. Okay. How many slices of cake did Eddie eat out of the whole number of slices? Express your answer as a fraction. Ano sa palagay nyo ang katumbas ng shaded portion? Sa ating, let's try this number one. Okay, if Mang Cesar is included. Okay. okay, ilan po kaya lahat? Okay, lagi po natin tandaan kung ilan lahat tapos ilan yung shaded. Okay, ilan yung nakain ni Eddie dyan na slice of cake. Okay, may nag-answer na si Mary, 5 over 8. How about the others? Okay, comment down your answer. Okay, bilang-bilang tayo. 3 out 3 fourth. Kamusta naman yung iba? Ano pong sagot nyo? May sagot na po ba? Okay, sa mga nalilito, okay, bibilangin po natin yung ilang slice mo na siya lahat. Ilang slice po ba lahat? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 lahat. Ilan po ang nakain ni Eddie? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, what's the answer of number 1? It is equal to 5 over 8 or 5 out of 10. Okay, congratulations po sa mga nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Okay, mamaya bawi po yung iba. Baka nalito lang kung paano mag okay, express in fraction. Okay, bawi-bawi tayo. Next po. Number two. A triangular piece of land is divided equally between the two brothers, Gino and Lito. Lito owns the shaded portion of the land. Okay, ito yung sa kabila po yung shaded portion. How much of the divided land is owned by Lito? Express your answer as a fraction. Okay, triangular land. So, hatiin siya, equally divided sa kanilang dalawa ni Gino at saka Lito. Okay, how much is the divided line, land is owned by Lito? Okay, yung naka... Nasa kabila yan po yung kay Lito. So, ilan po yung fractional part yan? Okay, ang bilis na naman lang magsagot. May mga sagot na si Mary na one half. Si Russell na one half. Okay, yung iba kaya? May sasagot pa ba? May hahabol pa ba? So, marami na silang sumagot ng one half. Okay. Ang gagaling niyo naman. Okay. Correct. It's one half. Congrats sa mga nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Okay, move tayo sa next point. Okay, let's learn what is a fraction. Okay, fractions are used to express parts of a whole. Okay, just like yung ginawa natin. Okay, yung part niya, yung nasa taas, yung kabuan yung nasa baba. Below are examples of fraction representing the shaded part of the whole. Okay, try to look at the illustration. Okay, para hindi po tayo malito, it's a part uh, over a whole. Okay, yung kabuan, tapos yung part yung nasa taas. Okay, just like yung illustration number one, the shaded portion is only one. Ilang slice po siya lahat o ilan hati? Six. So we have one over six. Okay, yung next illustration po, it is divided by 4. Then the shaded portion is 3. So we have 3 out of 4. Okay, the next illustration we have here, okay, 8 slice po siya or 8 parts. Then the shaded portion is 4. So we have a fraction of 4 over 8. Then the next one we have divided into 3. The shaded portion is 1. So we got 1 third or one out of three. Okay, as well as this second uh, next na illustration below. Okay, the rectangle is divided into three. The shaded portion is two, so we got two out of three. Then the next is divided into four. 
and the shaded portion is one so we got one fourth and the next one we have divided into nine parts the shaded portion is four so we have four over nine and the last one is divided into six and we have shaded portion which is two so we got two over six okay next Fractions are composed of a numerator and a denominator, just like this one. Okay, yung nasa taas, tinatawag po siyang numerator. Okay, yung nasa baba, tinatawag po siyang denominator. Okay, may typographical sumobra ata po yung letters. Next, okay, let's learn. The numerator represents how much of the whole is included or selected. Okay. Yung nasa taas, the numerator, yun po yung pinili or included na part. It is placed in the upper portion of the fraction. The denominator represents the total number of parts in a whole. So, it is placed on the lower portion of the fraction. Okay, just like that one. So, it is divided into nine parts. Then the shaded portion or the selected part is 4 out of 4 over 9. So our numerator is 4, our denominator is 9. So this time, let's try this. Okay, this time learners, okay, write the numerator and the denominator of the following numbers. Okay, paano po tayo magsagot? Halimbawa, number 1, ilagay niyo po kung sino dyan si numerator, sino po dyan si denominator. Okay, comment down your answer. Sino kaya dyan? Halimbawa, yung number, lalagyan niyo ng numerator. Then yung next number is denominator. So number 1 po muna tayo, we have... 7 over 8. Wow, ang galing. All, magaling yan. Pwede rin tayong mag -abribate. N stands for numerator. B stands for denominator. Okay, ang galing naman ni Mary. Okay, meron na silang sagot. 7, numerator. 8, denominator. Kay Atoms, I win. Okay, si Mary din. N, 7, D, 8, which means N stands for numerator. D stands for denominator. Ang gagaling naman ng ating mga learners for today. Okay, may sagot na din si Atom sa number 2. So, i-flash na natin yung sagot sa number 1. So, number 1, 7 is our numerator. 8 is our denominator. Then, about number 8 and 9, uh, 2 and 3. Sorry, oh, meron na silang sagot sa number 3. Si Russell, may sagot na rin sila sa number 2. Okay, si Jen, may sagot, humabol si number 1. Since may sagot na kayo, marami na kayong may sagot sa number 2. 8 is our numerator and 11 is our denominator. Then, as well as number 3, kasi may sagot na kayo dyan, ito na rin po yung sagot. 2 is our numerator. Ang gagaling. Congrats, learners. Next po tayo. Okay, let's try this. Okay, dito naman po tayo. Okay, let's try this. Express the shaded part into fraction. Okay, thanks sa mga humahabol magsagot at meron ng pang malakasan at nilagay na lahat ng sagot. Okay, we'll start with number 1. Okay, express the shaded part into fraction. Okay, ano kayang sagot niya? Okay, and may bilis naman nila magsagot. Ni Russell, ni Atom, si Mary. Si Russell, may number two na. Okay, yung iba kaya. So, ang sagot sa number one is three, four. Correct? Ang gagaling. Number two po tayo. Ano po kaya ang sagot chat? So, my number, nasa number 5 na yung iba. Okay, number 2 is, marami na silang may sagot na 5, 6. How about number 3? 
Okay, may number seven na yung iba. How about the others? Sa number three, ano bang sagot dyan? One, four, may number four na. May number two, number three kaya. Okay, number three, may nakita na pong sagot kay Mary. How about the others? Anong sagot? Ang dami na nilang sagot hanggang seven na yung iba. Ang bibilis. So, we have number three. Three over nine. Number two, four. It's two out of four. Number five, it's three out of eight. And number six, two out of three. And number seven is one eight. Check your answers. Okay, ayun na nga, pang malakas ang tinodo na. Okay. Tinodo na ni Rosel dahil ang 1, 2, 7 na answer. Okay, check your answers. Okay, next. This. If Aling Nelly bought 2 fourth kilo of chicken, while Aling Winnie bought one half kilo of chicken, who between the two bought more chicken? Ano sa palagay nyo? Sinong mas maraming bin, may binili? Okay, Aling Nelly bought two fourth kilo of chicken while Aling Winnie bought one half kilo of chicken. Who between the two bought more chicken? Okay, ang dami pa lang humahabol ng sagot. Okay, sino kaya ang mas maraming may binili sa kanilang dalawa? Okay, ano kaya sa palagay nyo? Dito na tayo sa kasunod. Okay, ang dami nilang may sagot pa kanina. Ang gagaling. Aling Winnie. Ano po yan? <laughs> sino yan si Aling? Okay, si Aling Nelly po ba ang may binili? So, four, then si Aling Winnie. Okay, how about the others? Ano po kayang sagot nung iba? Si, uh, yung isa si Aling Nelly, yung isa si Aling Winnie. Okay, yung iba humahabol pa yung sagot kanina. Ano kaya sa palagay nyo? Okay. If you thought that they bought equal amount of chicken, then you are right. Equal. Two-fourth is equal to one-half kilo. Paano kaya nangyari yun? Na same lang sila. Okay. Dito po tayo. Paano po laging equal? Okay. Ginagamitan po siya ng lowest term. Okay. Step number one. Determine the greatest common factor or GCF of both numerator and denominator to find the greatest common factor. List down the prime factors of the numerator and denominator and pair the common factors. Okay, we have the 2 over 4. Kasi one half lowest term na po. So, ang 2 over 4 po ang ilo lowest term natin kasi si 2 at saka si 4, meron pa silang mga factors. So, para makuha po ang greatest common factor, lagi po natin tandaan ang skip counting or the multiplication table. So, skip counting by 2, 2, kaya 2 ang nakalagay dyan. Then, sa 4, it's, ano po yung multiples ni 4? Okay, 2 times 2. Okay, si 2 kasi 2 times 1 lang. Si 4, ano bang pwedeng number na i-multiply magiging 4? Diba 2 times 2 lang or 4 times 1? Kaya lang si 4, pwede pa rin ulit natin E factor out. So, pag sinabing prime factors, it should be the number and itself po yun. So, si 2 at saka si 2, prime na po yun. Ay. Then, ano nga yung next? Find, list down the prime factors, then, pair the common factors. So, pair. Kung ano po yung meron sa taas, yun dapat tanap mo niyang pair sa baba. So, ang common sa kanila, So, our greatest common factor is 2.
try to look at the illustration. Okay? Ito divided into 4, then 2 out of 4, kalhati po. Sa isa, hinati lang po siya. Same lang po yung ibig sabihin. So, simplifying the fraction. Okay, 12 over 6. Ano kaya ang simplest form nito? First, you are to determine the GCF of 12. Ano po sa palagay niyo ang greatest common factor ni 12 at saka ni 16? No, para multiplication sentence po. Okay. The equal highest. <laughs> okay. Paano po natin i-simplify si 12 over 16? Okay, paano po natin hanapin ang greatest common factor? Ano po sa palagay nyo ang greatest common factor ni 12 and 16? So hanapin po natin. Okay, may sumagot na si Mary. 4. Okay, ang sagot ni Atoms is 6 out of 8. Okay, yung iba kaya? Kamusta kaya yung iba? Ano kaya yung greatest common factor para malowest term natin? C, 12 over 16. Okay. Step number one, less the prime factors of 12 and 16. Okay, ano kaya mga prime factors ni 12 and 16? Prime factors, yung factor na matitira is 2 and 1 lang po. Ano po kaya? May sumagot na na 4. May dumagdag. 0 cell 4. Then 6 out of 12. Okay. So to simplify that 1. Okay. The numerator 12. We can have the prime factors. Okay. Si 12 kasi is 4 times 3. Then si 4, meron pa siyang 2 times 2. So we have 2 times 2 times 3. So yun yung prime factors ni 12. Si 16 is 4 times 4. At alam naman natin, si 4 ay 2 times 2. So, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, ang sunod natin doon is the pair. The common factor. So, ano ang magka-pair dyan na meron kay 12 and 16? Okay, yung unang 2. Sunod yung pair na. Dalaw pangalawang 2. So, yung magkamukhang yon. I-multiply nyo po so we got a greatest common factor of 4. Congratulations sa nakakuha ng tamang sagot. So pag meron na tayong greatest common factor na 4, ano kaya ang lowest term niya? Ano kaya sa palagay nyo kung greatest common factor natin is 4? Ano na yung simplest form ni 12 over 16? Okay, so step number two tayo. Divide the numerator 12 and the denominator 16 by the greatest common factor. So ano nang magiging sagot? Okay, may sumagot ng 3 fourth. May sumagot. Okay, yung iba kaya, ano kaya ang sagot? Comment, comment. Okay, three fourth. Sagot ni Mary. Tsaka ni Rosel. Ano kaya ang sagot niya? Okay, the 12 divided by 4, we got 3. Next, the denominator, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So, the lowest term or the simplest form of the fraction 12 over 16 is 3, 4. Or 3 over 4. Congratulations. Okay, Tama yung sagot na 3-4. Okay, next. Ito naman tayo. If Mang Roman's last will, 
was stated that his land should be divided among his three children. Ben shall inherit three ten of the land. Dong shall inherit one fifth of the land. While Carol shall inherit one half of the land. Ang tanong, who among Mang Roman's children inherited the largest portion of the land? Second question, who among the children inherited the smallest portion of the land? Any idea paano natin masagutan ang problem na to? Okay, yung last will ni Mang Roman. Ang may pinakamalaking share. At sino daw yung may pinakamaliit na share? Okay, si Ben. Ang sagot ni Jen. Si Carol. Ang sagot ni Russell. Okay, how about the others? Okay, paano ba natin isolve pag ganitong problem? Si Carol daw ang guest niya na may biggest share. Ayun kay Atoms. I win. Ano kaya? Sino kaya ang may pinakamalaking share at sino ang may pinakamaliit na share? Okay, para po masagutan natin ang ganyang problem. Kung napansin nyo, magkaiba na po yung fraction. Okay, convert the fractions into decimal. Okay, para mas maintindihan natin or masolve natin yung problem, Convert mo na natin yung fraction into decimal form. So we have 3, 10. So 3, nasa loob po siya. Yun po yung hatin. Then 10 is our divisor. At alam naman po natin na we cannot divide 3 by 10. So we put 0 and add decimal point. Then add 0. So 30 divided by 10, we got 3. Then divide, multiply, subtract. Okay, kung naalala nyo po yung last lecture natin, kung paano mag-divide. Then, multiply 30, then subtract 0. So, 3 over 10 is equal to 0 0.3. Then, let's move on to 1 fifth. Okay, 1 divided by 5 cannot be add 0 or put 0 in the upper portion, add decimal point, and add 0. So, 10 divided by 5, we got 2, multiply 10, subtract, we get 0. So, 1 fifth is equal to 0 0.2. Then, 1 half, 1 divided by 2, can it be? Put 0, add decimal point, and align. So, we got 10 divided by 2, we have 5. So, 1. Arrange po natin. Sino po mauna from, from highest? So, mauna si 0 0.5. Next si 0 0.3. Next si 0 0.2. So, sino ang nakapuha ng pinakamalaking part at pinakamaliit na part? Okay, doon sa letter A. Ano sa palagay niyo? Sino yung may sagot doon sa letter A? Sino yung may pinakamalaking nakuha? Or sa letter B, sino may pinakamalit na portion na nakuha or part doon sa minana? Okay, si Carol. Ba ang sagot sa letter A, Jen? Yun po yun. Okay. How about the other? Sino kaya ang nasa letter A yung may pinakamalaking part? Sa letter B, yung may pinakamaliit na part. How about the others? Sino po yung guest niya? So, 0 0.5, sino po kaya yun? 1 half or 0 0.5 is the highest. Therefore, Carol gets the largest portion of the land. Correct? Tama po. Si Carol po ang may pinakamalaking nakuhang part. Sino yung may pinakamaliit ngayon? Okay, yes. Si Carol, thank you. Okay, congrats. Si Atoms, Carol din yung 
sagot niya. Ngayon naman, sino yung may pinakamaliit na part na nakuha? Si Ben ba or si Dong? Okay, ang sagot ni Atoms ay si Ben. Okay. One fifth or 0.2 is the lowest. Therefore, Dong gets the smallest portion of the land. Okay. Yung may 0.2 ang part or yung fraction niya, one fifth, yun po yung may pinaka maliit na part. So that is Dong. So kung medyo nakamalit na ng type, okay, later po, bawi po tayo. Okay, dito po tayo sa sunod. Alin Nelly bo 2 third kilo of beef. While Alin Malo bo 3 fourth kilo of beef. And Alin Gali bought 7 over 10 kilo of beef. Who among the three bought the largest amount of beef? And letter B, who among the three bought the least amount of beef? 3 to third. Si Aling Malo, 3 fifth. Si Aling Dali, 7 over 10. Sino sa kanilang tatlo ang may pinakamalaking biniling beef? Yung pangalawa, sino sa kanilang tatlo ang may pinakamaliit na biniling beef o pinakakunting amount? Okay, largest amount then, least amount or pinakamaliit. Okay, si Aling Nelly sa number 1. Okay, paano nga ulit natin ito sa sagutin para maintindihan natin kung sino yung may pinakamalaking nabili. Okay, ano nga unang gagawin ulit? Okay, sa so letter B daw si Aling Dali. Okay, let's find out. Step 1, convert the fraction to decimal form up to two decimal places. Okay, kapag mag-subtract po kasi tayo na hindi zero yung lalabas, up to decimal places lang muna. Okay, so we got this. 2 third. So we have 2 divided by 3. So 2 divide 3, 0. Since wala tayong makuhang 3 kay 2, so, ipilagay natin sa taas yung 0, then a decimal point, align the decimal point, add 0. So, we got 20. Divide 3, so we got 6. Multiply, we got 18. Then, subtract, again, we got 2, bring down another 0 or add another 0. Then, we got 20, again, divide by 3, we got 6. And we, if we multiply, we got 18, and if we subtract, we got 2. So, ganun, pa ulit ulit na lang po yung division process natin. So, we just stick to 0 0.66 up to 2 decimal places. Then, see so 3 over 6, uh, 3 over 5, 3 divided by 5, 0. So, add decimal point, align, then add 0. Then, 30 divided by 5, we got 6. Multiply, we got 30. So, subtract, we got 0. So, two, 3 fifth is equal to 0 0.6. Then, 7 over 10. 7 divide 10, 0, put a decimal point, then add 0, we get, it's only isang 0 lang po yan, it's a typographical error, so we get 0. 0.7. So, sino yung may pinakamalaking amount na binili at pinakamaliit na binili? Sino ba yung may 2 thirds? Sino ba yung may 3 fifths? Sino ba yung 7? Again, we are two arrangements from the highest to lowest. So, that's the arrangement. So, we have 0 0.7 next, followed by 0 0.66, followed by 0 0.6. Okay, sino po ba yung na merong 0 0.7? Okay. 0 0.7 or 7 out of 10, si Dali po yung my. Yeah, tama. So, Dali got 70%. Okay, so siya po yung may pinakamalaking part. Okay, how about, sino yung may pinakamaliit na part na nabili? So, arrange na una si letter A, 7 over 10, or 0 0.7 is the highest. So, therefore, Alin Dali bought the largest amount of B. Ang galing. Sino, uh, then, ang letter B, 
3 over 6, or 5, or 0 0.6 is the lowest. So, si Aling Malu yung may pinakalist amount of beef. Okay. Sana naintindihan natin paano yung fraction to decimal. Okay, next. Arrange the fractions below from the lowest to highest. Ano kaya sa palagay niyo? Sino kayang mauna sa arrangement na yan? Okay, good evening. Watching Mam Talon Tres Elementary School, Las Pina City. Thanks for watching, Abby Dulay. Okay. Good evening po sa lahat. Okay, ano po kaya? Sino po mauna kay 2, 4, 1, 6, 3 over 7, and 4 over 9? Ano kaya sa palagay niyo mag arrangement from lowest to highest? Mauna ngayon kung sino yung pinakamaliit sa kanila, then hanggang sa pinakamalaki. Ano po kaya? Yung arrangement, 1, 6, 2, 4, 3, 7, 4, 9. 1, 6, 2, 4, 3, 7, 4, 9. Okay. One six two four three seven four nine. Okay. Ang sabi ni Abi ni Jen at saka ni Mary. Okay, yung iba kaya ano kaya ang sagot nila? Sino kaya ang pinakamaliit yan? Sino ang pinakamalaki yan? So kung napansin yon, meron ding po ding lowest term yan. So, the answer is, if we divide, so 2 fourth, 2 divided by 4, we have 0 0.5, get 0 0.16, 3 divide 7, we get 0 0.42, and 4 over 9 is equal to 0 0.44. So, sino yung pinaka mababa dyan? 0 0.16. Mauna si 1, 6. 0.42 mauna si 3, 7. Then, 0 0.44 ma sunod si 4, 9. Then, plus po si 2, 4, which is 0 0.5. So, 1, 6, 3, 7, 4, 9, and 2, 4. Okay. Sana po, nakuha natin. Nakuha po ba ang tamang arrangement? 1, 6. Huli po si 2, 4, 3, 7. Sunod po si 4, 9. Huli po si 2, 4. Okay. Hard daw. <laughs> Nalito. Okay, ano po kasi natin, katulad yung ginawa natin ganyan, i-divide po natin yung numerator sa denominator para mas maganda yung pag-arrange natin. Okay, ganyan po kasi kapag hindi magkamuka yung fractions o hindi pareho yung denominator. So, move on tayo sa next part. Okay, mas madali na siguro to sa inyo. Okay, 1 inch is divided into 8 parts. Okay, dito mas madali na natin intindihin to. Kung napansin nyo dyan sa illustration, yung 1 inch is divided into 8 parts. The values in the upper part of the ruler represents the length in fraction form. Since divided siya into 8, yung una is 1, 8, 2, 8, and so on until 8 over 8. Then the values below the gradation represents the equivalent fraction in the lowest term. So, 1 8, lowest term na po siya. Si 2 over 8, okay, simply find na po siya ng 1 4, 3 8, same. 4 over 8, 1 half, 5 8, same. 6 over 8, it's 3 4, and 7 over 8, same. Then, 8 over 8, it is 1. Kasi 8 divided by 8 po yun. So, kung napansin yung nasa taas, pariho yung denominator, Yung nasa baba is magkaiba ang denominator. So, ano pong tawag dyan? Okay, fraction with the same denominator are called similar fractions. A 
Okay, kung napansin yung nasa taas ng ruler 1-8 hanggang 8-8, okay, they are similar fractions. Yung nasa baba naman, okay, hindi na sila similar, so mamaya po yun. Comparing similar fractions is easy because you only need to look at the value of the numerator of each similar fraction. The higher the value of the numerator, the higher is the value of the fraction. Okay, madali na tayong mag-arrange kapag same yung denominator, yung nasa baba. Ang titinang lang natin yung nasa taas. So therefore, 2 8 is higher than 1 8, 3 8 is higher than 2 8, 7 8 is higher than 5 8, and so on. So ang titingnan natin kapag same lang denominator, yung nasa taas lang. Sino yung may pinakamataas na value, yun po yung may malaking value. So, ulit tayo. Let's review. Ano nga ulit yung similar fractions kung naalala nyo? Okay, ano ba yan? Ang haba. It's hard to find answer in the fastest way. Okay. Oo nga, kailangan talagang mag ano. So dito na po tayo, mas madali na po. C, similar fraction. Pare, parehas ang denominator number. Opo, pag pareho ang denominator number. Okay, yes, that is similar fraction. Okay, pare, pareho ang denominator or number. Similar fractions are fractions that have same denominator. Okay, dito mas madali nang mag-arrange kasi pareho na sila ng denominator. I-arrange natin siya from highest to the lowest. Okay, sino kaya ang makuna? Okay, arrange the fractions from highest to the lowest. 5, 11, 2, 11, 11 over 11, 8 over 11, and 3 over 11. Okay, ang titinan lang natin kapag, okay, similar fractions have the same denominator, yes, tama po, same denominators po ba, yes po, that is similar fraction. Okay, so pag similar fraction, sinabi po kayo na mas madali tayong mag-arrange kasi ang titignan na lang natin is yung nasa taas. Kung ano yung pina, mas malaki sa taas, yun po yung pinakamalaki. So i-arrange po natin siya ngayon. Base po kung sino yung pinakamalaki hanggang po sa pinakamaliit na fraction. Okay, ano po kayang magiging arrangement niya? Okay, comment down your answer. Okay, hello to all us implementers watching and all the learners. Okay, may sagot na si Jen. Okay, highest to lowest po. Okay, baka nagkabaliktad dyan. Highest, unahin po natin yung, okay, yun. Okay, check your answers. Okay, highest to lowest, may sagot na si Atoms, 11, 11, 8, 11, 5, 11, 3, 11, and 2, 11. Okay, nabaliktad lang po ata ang arrangement ni Jet. So we have, ang nauna is 11, 11, 8, 11, 5, 11, 3, 11, and 2 over 11. Congrats! sa mga nakakuha ng tamang sagot. Okay, mas madali kasi kapag same ang denominator. Okay, next naman, how to convert mixed number to improper fraction. Napansin niyo ba yung mixed numbers to improper? Yung may whole number at saka may fraction. Just like doon sa example. Okay, naalala niyo pa ba yung ganoon? Okay, example, Aling Maria's Bakery Consume of eggs. Express this quantity into an improper fraction. Humina siya. Okay, paano kaya natin gagawing improper? Pag sinabing improper, Okay, mas malaki yung nasa taas compare yung nasa baba. Or mas malaki yung numerator kaysa sa denominator. Okay, we're done with similar fraction. Magkamukha yung denominator. Hindi siya magkamukha. Okay, that is the similar fraction. So dito naman, we have mixed numbers to improper fraction. Ano kaya ang magiging 
conversion nito. Mas maintindihan? Okay, yan po yung gag given. 4 is the whole number, 2 is the numerator, and 3 is the denominator. Paano natin siya gagawing improper fraction? Multiply the whole number by the denominator. So, 4 times 3. So, we got 12. So, after that one, add the product in step 1, yung 12, with the numerator. So, the sum becomes the new numerator. So, ano ba yung nasa taas nun? So, the product 12 plus 2, we got 14. So, ano na yung bagong fraction? The improper fraction should consist of the new numerator and the original denominator. So, magbabago lang yung numerator, still remain pa rin yung original na denominator, which is 3. So, we got an improper fraction of 14 over 3. So, may bago tayong numerator. Galing siya kay 3 times 4 plus 2, we got 14. Then, just simply remain the original denominator, 3. So, we got an improper fraction of 14 over 3. Okay, this time, convert the following mixed numbers to improper fractions. Okay, paano nga ulit yon? 14 over 4, okay, remain 14 over 3, tama, okay, dito, bawi tayo. So, the mixed number 8 and 5, so, the number 2, we got 5 and 4 over 7. So, comment down your answer. Una is multiply and plus and copy the denominator. So, may sagot na si Atoms. 35 over 4. Okay, so, multiply, add, and copy the denominator. Yes po. So, multiply the whole number and the denominator. Add the numerator. Then, remain lang po ang denominator. So, ano kaya ang sagot dyan? Thirty-five over four. Okay, so ang denominator po natin dito is six and seven. Okay, remain lang po ang denominator. Copy lang natin siya. Okay, multiply si whole number and si denominator at the numerator. Then, meron tayong bagong numerator pero copy pa rin si denominator. Okay, ano kaya ang sagot sa number 1? 6 times 8 equals 48 plus 5. We got 53. So, denominator, we have 6. Then, we got 53 over 6. How about number 2? So, ano kaya yun? C5. 6 to 3rd. 39 over 7. Okay, may sagot na si Mary na 39 over 7. May sagot na si Atoms ng 35 over 7. So, let's find out what's the answer. So, 7 times 5 is 35 plus 4 which is the numerator. We got 39 and our denominator is 7. So, we got 39 over 7. Congrats po sa... Okay, wag po natin kalimutang multiply si whole number at saka si denominator. Then, i-add natin yung numerator. So, may bago tayong numerator. Pero, copy pa rin si denominator. Proper fractions are fraction whose numerator are smaller than the denominator. Halimbawa, 3 over 5, 11 over 5, 4 over 9. Okay, proper po ang tawag kapag mas maliit yung nasa taas kesa doon sa nasa baba. Improper naman siya, improper fraction because fractions whose numerators are bigger than their denominators. Okay, katulad ng sinod natin kanina. Okay, pag mas malaki yung nasa taas, improper. Example, 7 over 5, 13 over 8, and 57 over 29. 
Then, mixed number consists of a whole number and a fraction. Just like yung mixed to improper na sinol po natin. So, we have whole number 4, then 1 half is the fraction. 6, then 7 over 8. And 11 and 5 over 6. So, may improper, may proper fraction, may improper, then we have mixed numbers. So, we already convert a mixed number into improper fraction. How about this one? How to com convert improper fraction to mixed fraction? So, vice versa. Balik ta rin naman natin ngayon. Paano siya i-convert? So, 9 over 5 to a mixed number. So, kung kanina nag-multiply tayo, nag-add, ano kaya ang gagawin ngayon? So, to convert, step number 1, divide the numerator by the denominator. So, divide po ulit tayo. Si 9 na sa taas. So, ilan ba ang makuha nating 5 kay 9? So, we got only 1. Then, multiply 5, then 4. Okay, hindi na natin i-continue yung, yung division kasi kailangan na natin i-convert si 9 fifth to an mixed number. So, we have 1 is the quotient, 5 is the divisor, and 4 is the remainder. So, step number 2, the quotient 1 as the whole number, set the remainder as the new numerator and the divisor 5 as the denominator. So, si 9 over 5 ay 1 and 4 over 5. So, divide. So, yung sagot, yun yung magiging whole number. Then, yung remainder, yun yung magiging numerator. Then, yung denominator, yun yung divisor. Okay, how about this one? Ilang 7 ba meron kay 23? At ilan sa palagay nyo? Ano kayang equivalent nito? Okay, okay lang po kung nalito. Okay, bawi po tayo dito. Okay, kasi okay, same lang po dapat numerator. Okay, tama po, 39 over 7. Dito naman tayo. Kabaliktaran po niyan. Ang ginawa naman dito is... Okay, watching from Alman. Sa uno, Las Piñas is 3. So, 3. So, ano yung mixed number na mangyayari ngayon? So, 3. So, 3 times 7. Then, isubtract natin kay 23. So, yun yung magiging new numerator. So, mananatiling 7 yung ating denominator. Yun yung divisor. So, ano kaya ang magiging sagot? So, to have that. Okay, divide. Tama, sila, 3. 3 na 7 ang makukuha sa 23. Then multiply, we got 21. Then subtract, we got 2. Then our new fraction or the mixed number, we have 3, which is our quotient. Our remainder, 2, it's our numerator. And 7, which is the divisor, is our denominator. So, how about this one? Ilang 3 meron kay 11? Skip counting by 3. Ilan ang makuha natin kay 11? Ilan sa palagay nyo? So, 3 din. So, ano yung mixed number na correspond kay 11 over 3? Okay, ano kayang mixed number? So, 3 ang makuha natin. So, 3 times 3, it's 9. So, 11 minus 9. So, ano yung mixed number natin ngayon? So, tama kayo. 3, yung ating makukuhang 3 kay 11. So, we got this. So, 11 divide 3, it's 3. Multiply 9, then subtract, we got 2. Then, our whole number is 3. Our new numerator is 2. And our denominator is 3, which is our divisor. So, 11 over 3 is equal to 3 over 3 and 2 third in mixed numbers. So, dito na po tayo. Sa last part, simplify the fraction. Okay, alam naman po natin kung paano mag-simplify, di po ba? Okay, di ba lowest term? Ano kayo sa palagay niyo lowest term ni number one? Andyan pa ba tayo? Okay, lowest term lang. Ano bang pwedeng, ano bang GCF ni 14? CF ni 8 and 14. May answer na po ba tayo sa ating 
Letter A to simplify the fractions to the lowest term, 14 over 12 and 8 over 14. Ano pong sagot natin? Nagsusold pa ba? Okay, may sagot na ba kayo dyan? Two-third, two-third. So, okay, two over three ang letter A. We'll see. And that is two over three. Congratulations. How about letter B, eight over 14? Ano sa palagay ito ang tamang sagot? Ano yung lowest term ni eight over 14? Okay. Good job. You got the correct answer of 2 over 3. How about 8 over 14? 4 over 7. Okay, how about the others? Okay, may sagot na silang 4 over 7. So the correct answer is 4 over 7. Congratulations. Next. Oh, paano nga natin ulit i-arrange to? Ano sa palagay niyo? Sinong mauna? Highest to lowest. Okay. Medyo nalito kayo dito kanina. Sino ba kaya ang mas mataas dito? Okay. Sino ba ang pinakamataas sa letter A? So the arrangement from highest to lowest we have. Okay. Mauna si 5, 6, 4, 6, 2, 3, and 3, 6. Okay, 5, 6, 3, 5, nagkamali po ata ng arrangement. Okay, parang nabaliktad. Ito na tayo sa number 3. Paano nga ulit siya ma-improper fraction? Nalilito sila kayo na sa arrangement. Okay, 5, 6, 4, 5, 3, 6, 2, 3. Okay. Dito na tayo sa convert. Of letter B, 4 over 7 ang sagot. Okay, arrange po yun. Dito, paano mag-convert ng 2 and 5, 11 to an improper fraction? Okay, mix to improper. Ano ang gagawin nun? Multiply, then add. Okay, ano kaya ang improper fraction nito? Denominator. So, ano kaya ang sagot nyo dito? 27 over 11. Okay, may sagot na silang 27 over 11. 2 times 11, 22 plus 5, 27 over 11 is correct. And the last one we have, 43 over 9 to mix number. Ilan kaya siya? Ilang 9 meron kay? 43. 9? Okay, skip counting by 9 tayo. So, correct. 27 over 11. Let's move on to number 4. Convert 43 over 9 to a mixed number naman. Okay, ilan bang 9 makukuha natin kay 43? So, skip counting by 9 tayo para mas madali. Hindi aabot kay 43. So, ilang 9 yon. Then, multiply, subtract. Then, yung remainder, yun na po yung magiging numerator. Then, the divisor, yun po yung denominator. So, we got the answer of Okay, ano pong sagot? May sagot na po ba sila sa so number Nung sagot natin dyan? May sagot na po ba kayo? So the correct answer is ilang nine po makuha natin? Okay, we have Okay, 4 lang, which is 36. So, 43 over 9 is equal to 4 and 7 over 9. So, maraming salamat. See you again next week, same time. Okay, same day. Okay, huwag po kalimutang manood. I-share yung ating link every Wednesday po, 5 to 6. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thanks for watching. Congratulations po sa tamang sagot. Okay, yung iba po na medyo nalito. Balik ka na lang po yung video. Okay, bye-bye. Ang husay naman! 
Natapos mo ang iyong tutorial session kasama ang iyong mahusay na itulay tutor. May bago ka bang natutuhan? I-share na yan gamit ang hashtag itulay level up. Huwag aalis ha dahil may susunod pang programa na pwede mo rin panoorin at salihan dahil naghihintay na ang iyong mga tutors. Happy learning dito sa Itulay!